Sun TV, broadcasting to the world from studios in Providenciales in the beautiful by nature Turks and Caicos Islands. Sun TV, your source for real news as it happens. The Turks and Caicos Islands Planning Department has advised the interim government that a move from a maximum height of seven stories to 28 stories would be excessive and would have enormous impacts on the island of Providenciales and the entire country. According to a review of the Skyline Development Proposal, which was released by Governor Rick Todd on Monday, September 10th, the Planning Department's views is that increases in height and density of buildings should be gradual in order to ensure compatibility with the existing environment and infrastructure. In the review, the Department suggests a reasonable and gradual increase, for example, from seven stories to 10 stories. The Skyline proposal outlined a mixed-use development project that proposes three high-rise buildings, the first being a 28-story tower that will host a 200-room hotel and 96 condo units on the top floors. The second and third phases will each consist of a 20-story condominium tower with 156 units each. This will give a total of 512 rooms and the largest conference space on the islands. The planning department expressed concerns about the lack of specific information of the development, including but not limited to the specific parcels of land, the location, size, and zoning in question, and the desirability of producing an updated national physical development plan before a decision. The need for formal submission of an outline planning application was also noted. The 10-page public consultation review of the proposed 28-story hotel concluded that there is a widely accepted need for the diversification of the tourism product in the Turks and Caicos Islands, and particularly on the island of Providenciales. The report said the consultation noted that the investment in the proposed mixed-use development has considerable potential to create jobs and additional economic activity for the islands. It also recognizes the acute challenges of competing land users and the scarcity of prime coastal lands, adding that an increase in the height of buildings and density, particularly tourism-related development, is arguably inevitable. And in other news, Chief Operating Officer of WIV Cable Company Tom Jaskowitz, in an interview with Sun TV, confirmed that the company has downsized by 18%, releasing seven employees from the Technical Operations Department. Daskowitz also explained the process that determined whether or not this move was necessary at such a crucial time in the Turks and Caicos economy. A veteran in broadcasting, Jaskovic noted that the workload has decreased, therefore the first stage of a three-step solution had to be completed. Sun TV did not leave with just bad news though. Jaskovic noted that there are no plans to release staff members in any other departments in the near future. And as a matter of fact, there may be some exciting news for the WIV4 newsroom, which he said will be announced on a later date. I'm in Leslie Garland reporting for Sun TV News.